Hello everyone. Today I am going to cover nine best personality development books for students. With the growth of technology, the world is getting smaller. You can easily access information from anywhere and at any time. But there are still some things that cannot be learned online or through books. The art of personal development requires a certain level of maturity, which is why most people don't start practicing it until they are older. It's true that you will have to invest time and effort into your self improvement journey but with these personality development books for students you will find that it's worth it these books will help you develop into a better version of yourself stronger more confident and happier than before so let's get started number 1 the success principles how to get from where you are to where you want to be by jack canfield this book is ideal for everyone who wants success in life and career but has no idea how they can achieve it it teaches the reader about different principles that will help him or her achieve their goals in life number 2 how to win friends and influence people by dale carnegie this book is about how to be a better person it's written in a very simple language which makes it easy to understand and read the book is practical so you'll be able to apply what you have learned right away the author wrote the book in a very conversational tone that makes you feel like he's speaking directly to you The book is divided into 5 parts each of which has several chapters. The first part gives you an overview of how to be a better person. The second part explains the importance of having a strong character and what it means to have integrity. The third part gives you tips on how to be a better person and live a more fulfilling life. The fourth part focuses on staying positive and overcoming obstacles that may come your way. The fifth part provides some examples of real life situations in which the principles discussed in the book can be applied. The book is very easy to read and understand. You can finish it in one sitting, but it's also a great reference guide that you can refer to again and again when you need some inspiration. Number 3, The Art of Public Speaking by Stephen E. Lucas. Stephen E. Lucas, The Art of Public Speaking is a perennial classic for good reason. It covers everything from how to prepare for a speech to preparing and delivering it to making yourself memorable. If you're looking for something that dives deep into the art of public speaking, this is a great resource and it's written in an engaging style so you actually want to read it. Number 4, What Everybody Is Saying, An Ex-FBI Agent's Guide to Speed Reading People by Joe Navarro. This is a great book for students who want to improve their ability to read people. The author has been an FBI agent and is now a private investigator, so he knows what he is talking about. He gives a very specific tip on how you can improve your ability to read body language and facial expressions. The book also gives advice for how you can use your newfound knowledge in real life situations. If you have trouble reading people, this book will help you become more aware of the signs that tell whether someone is lying or telling the truth. whether they are interested in what you are saying or whether they are bored with the conversation you'll be able to see if someone's look uncomfortable when talking about something or if they look like they are trying to hide to convince others of something number 5 the seven habits of highly effective people powerful lessons in a personal change by stephen r covey the seven habits of highly effective people is a book by stephen covey that was first published in 1989 It's about how to be effective in life and work using habits to improve yourself. This book has sold over 15 million copies and has been translated into 28 languages. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is one of the top books on Amazon with thousands of reviews by people who have read it and found it useful. Number 6, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway by Susan Jeffers. This is a great book for students to read especially those who are shy or nervous. In this book Suzanne Jeffers talk about how we tend to be afraid of things that we don't know and only experience fear when we are in the situation itself. She explains that there is nothing wrong with feeling fear but what matters most is how you deal with it so that you can overcome your fear and go on doing the things that you want to do without getting distracted by your negative emotions. This book provides some useful tips on how to deal with your fears in life. The main one be just do it. Number 7, Self Compassion by Dr. Kristen Neff and Chris Jemmer. The authors of this book argue that self compassion is an important part of a person's well-being. They write that a tendency towards self-criticism is linked to all sorts of problem including depression and anxiety, low self-esteem and body dissatisfaction. eating disorders and addictions shamefulness and feelings of inferiority in other words if you want your life to go smoothly without stress or regret it helps to be kinder to yourself 
Self compassion offers benefits such as reduced anxiety, improved mood, increased happiness, better physical health, more satisfying relationships with others, greater resilience in the face of hardship, increased motivation or determination when it comes to achieving goals, increased productivity at work or school, and the list goes on. The authors also make an important point about how we can practice self compassion by noticing our thoughts without judging them as good or bad. For example, if someone compliments me but I don't feel like my outfit was great today, instead of berating myself for not being grateful enough for their compliment, I can instead just notice how these kinds of thoughts come up for everyone sometime. Remind myself that there's nothing wrong with having negative thoughts every now and then remind myself that even though right now I might not feel good enough about myself right now, I'm still worth loving no matter what. Number 8 How Full Is Your Bucket by Tom Rath and Donald Crifton With the title like How Full Is Your Bucket it's clear that this book is about how to be a better person but what makes it unique compared to other self help books is it focus on others not only yourself it's about how you can make others happy and feel appreciated by them in return this means giving more than you take and being positive rather than negative or pessimistic You might know the saying you get what you give but this book will help you understand why the saying is true and give specific examples of behaviors that will improve your relationships with others and make them want to help you in return which ultimately benefits everyone involved. Number 9 This is me letting you go by Heidi Pryde. This is me letting you go is a self-help book that helps you to let go of the past. This is a fantastic read for anyone who is struggling with their past or needs help moving on from it whether it's a relationship or an event in life that has happened which makes them unable to move forward. The book will teach you how to stop being afraid of the future and start living in the present. It also helps readers be more positive and think positively about themselves which will lead them on their journey towards becoming successful students. There are many benefits to reading books that help you develop your personality. The most obvious is that you can learn more about yourself. You will get a better understanding of who you are, what makes you tick and what drives your behavior. You will also learn how other people think and feel in response to certain situations or stimuli. Reading books that focus on personality development can teach students how to interpret body language, facial expressions and gestures so that they can better understand their peers' need as well as their own emotions and desires. Books on this list also help students develop their social skills by giving them advice and communication strategies that work well in various situations at school but also at home or at work and tips for improving social interactions such as making eye contact with another person when speaking with them directly so people know they are being listened to intently. So at last the best personality development books for students are the ones that can help them better themselves. These books will provide the right kind of guidance and advice on how to become a better person not just academically but also personally. This way you will be more productive at school because of your improved skills in handling various situations like stress and anxiety while still performing well academically. So with this we end our research on nine best personality development books for students. We hope you were able to understand more clearly about them and offer the one which suits you the best. Wish you happy learning.